Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Wonderful things they happen or not be small. Ah, uh, Kwanko so don't tell Peter Obi that you can only win. Okay, Peter Obi can only win if he comes together with me. If he comes together and we have a united front and he decides that he we will be together, that's the only way. Now, Labour Party and NNPP, once upon a time, tried to make this merger that did not quite happen. And the reason behind being the, the reason why the merger could not happen was because uh, they could not decide on who will be the presidential and who will be the vice presidential candidates. That was the reason the merger did not quite go through. Other than that, they were ready to take the bull by the home, but it did not quite work right so quack also is saying that you know from what he sees or from where he's sitting down for what he can see the only way peter ob can truly make a headway is if he comes together and work with him uh, if they do this measure and this measure now he will be the one to lead if peter b does not come together they do not agree and they come together the chances of peter will be winning according to him is slim mm, very slim very very slim please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details 2023 peter ubi can only win presidential election if he comes together and work with me kwan koso declares the new nigerian people's party nnpp rabio kwan koso has identified the only steps his counterpart from Labour Party, Peter Obi must take to stand a chance of winning the presidential election. Kwan Koso said Peter Obi's chance of winning the presidential election depends on a merger with him. The NNPP presidential candidate spoke while appearing on Channel's television. The 2023 verdict on who will win is around the corner and we are there to make this move together. According to Kwan Koso, you see, I can tell you, and I have said it here on this chair when we were about to come together, and I said it that the only opportunity the Labour Party has was for us to come together, for us to merge together as one. A few weeks ago, Kwankoso disclosed why the proposed merger with Peter Obi did not work. The former Lagos, the former Kano State Governor said it failed because Peter Obi, Labour Party presidential candidate, was at the pack of a media hype. And when he saw that, he felt this was unnecessary. He cannot win with this. And so he went on to tell Peter Obi that he will be the vice presidential candidate since he has more media app. Why he will be the presidential candidate? And they did not quite see, they did not quite agree on that and those were part of the reasons why it did not um, it did not come into fusion they could not see the light of day so right about now our very own brother kwan koso is saying from both what you can see right now things are quite different and that uh, you know peter will be you know needs to come and work with him if you want to see the dawn of a new day, want to see a brighter tomorrow, they need to be the working together. I say because uh, from what you can see right now, if they don't work together, the chances, according to him, of Peter be winning is so slim. You cannot begin to imagine, you know. So in his own in his own way, he feels very strongly that Peter Obi stands a chance only if he works together with him. You know, if he does not work with him. That chance is quite uh, is quite uh, slim, according to him. So it is a matter of urgent attention. Uh, Labour Party now the yes, so our brother tell us say we need to work together. Say if we not work together, say we say things not go be the way you know we're supposed to be. Say because uh, they need to work together. So Kwan Koso has proposed this. It's left for Peter B to either take accept or decline okay when they propose something to you you call me up your mind say well it's okay let me consider or let me decline it's not a crime it's a proposal you have a right to stay with it you have a right to say you know what i am not staying with it for whatever is what it's up to you and i to ensure that at the end of the day we do everything humanly speaking possible and bring nigeria to where it ought to be kwankoso you know for, for uh, from where he stands from 
she is one of the only possibility of peter will be making a headway and truly getting this very position is to work with him okay he said it's to work with him okay so it is uh it's something that um, everybody must look at very carefully and we must ensure that at the end of the day as a country as a nation we are working and we're doing right by us we're not leaving ourselves to the hands of tom dick and harris who have who are only looking out for themselves to be the deciding factor of what happens to us as a nation as a people it's about time we begin to see things more critically we look at things more efficiently and ensure that we do things properly decently and in order for change to come remember it's up to you and i to ensure that we do not remain where we are we can do something about it we can actually make a difference if we work together then we can achieve this purpose other than that we'll be deceiving ourselves and guess what the truth will not be we will not be we will not be being we will not be honest with ourselves and and it's very shameful when you lie to your very own self you can lie to others but lying to yourself my dear just think about it you lying to yourself you know those are some of the things that we must consider and we must pay great attention to and do not um, turn a blind eye so it is what it is if you ask me and so it's a time of serious consideration where every single one of us who truly wants to see this country becomes a better place you know we want to see our nation turn a new leaf where we're not buying our own naira then yeah? we are the one that are that are, uh, that are exploring crude oil yet that we don't have crude oil we don't have a uh, petrol we don't have diesel there is no kerosene even the i mean it i mean just to mention but a few the nation is genuinely suffering excuse me the nation is genuinely suffering but this could have been averted, you see. This could have been avoided. It could have been. But what are we doing? We turn a blind eye and we pretend that, you know, these things are not happening. So that's why we are where we are. And we can truly make a difference. We can truly make a headway if we agree together and, you know, do not allow the same thing to hold us down. There is time for everything, you see. And one of such times is now where we all must sing together, where we all must agree together and stand together as one people, one voice, one entity, and do not allow the same people who has infringed pain on us to be our leaders. You know, if Peter will be, we win, let him win because we, we support him. If he's not, if he's not what the person, then there's no point to support him. We pick some other person. There are 18 of them, you know, you know, and let's ensure that we support such an individual wholeheartedly. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.